Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create an image with Nginx and PHP 7, which is the latest version of PHP. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to create a new directory for the context, because remember that the context is way important. In the context, you should only include the things that you're going to use. So let's create a directory and let's change directory to that directory and let's create a docker file. Remember that you can name docker files as you want. We could even do it like docker file nginx and we're just going to create this file and we're going to edit it. So we're going to start from CentOS, you know, I like CentOS, but if you want to start from Debian then you can just do it. And the first thing that we need to do is of course to install nginx. So if we don't know how to install Nginx for CentOS, then we just go to google.com and we try to look for the answer. So let's type like install Nginx on CentOS 7 it could be. And then I want to tell you that you have two options to install Nginx in Linux. The first one is installing the Appel repository, which is a repository that has some extra packages or the second option is using the Nginx repository directly. So we have the two options in here. Here we have the repository option. In the other link, we have the Appel option. But in this video, we're going to use this because we don't need to install any extra package. We only need to create one file and then we are done. If you follow the previous guide, then you will need to install two packages, a PAL release, and then you will need to install Nginx. So we only want to install one package. So we're going to start reading this and it says step one, we need to create a file in this location with this content. So that's great. How do we do this in Docker? Well, it's going to be super simple. We're going to copy the content of this guy, of this file, and we're just going to go out of our Docker file and we will be creating a new file. So we will say like nginx repo, we'll say nginx.repo, and you just paste the content in here. That's great. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to copy this file in the Docker file as simple as that. But if you want to be a little bit organized, then you can create a directory called repo and then you can put your file inside of this folder. So you can do like move nginx repo to repo and then you have the file inside of the folder, which is great. Or you can call, let's just call it different. Let's say instead of repo, it could be conf configuration files. So let's say that in this folder we're going to save all of the configuration files. So if you see what we have is that under this configuration folder we have this nginx.repo which contains the configuration options that we copied from internet. Remember that this is a relative path from the docker file in this context. So we're going to do this. We're going to go inside of the docker file and we're going to copy this file that we just created which is in conf nginx repo and we're going to copy it to this location so we're going to copy the file to this location and then that's great the second thing that we need to do is to install nginx on CentOS 7. So basically we install nginx like this, jump install nginx. How do we run that in a docker file? Well, we just type run and then we say jump install dash y remember nginx. So now let's just try to do this. Let's type docker build dash t and we're going to say nginx version 1 and we're going to use this docker file, remember, using dash f, and then we provide the context, which is the current directory. We hit enter, and then you see that the first two layers are successfully done, and now we're basically installing nginx from the repository that we just copied in the previous layer. And as you see, the installation is being successful. So that's cool. Now the second step is adding PHP 7. Now how do we install PHP 7 on CentOS 7? Well we don't really know so we're just gonna go to Google and we're going to look for P7 
PHP 7 on CentOS. So install PHP 7 on CentOS 7. And we have, as I told you, many ways to install a package in Linux. But to install PHP 7, we actually have more ways on how to do it. And as PHP 7 is not a part of the basic repository in CentOS 7, we need to install an external repository and retrieve the files from there. So if you read this guide, then you see that they are using the Remy repository to install PHP. But I am not going to use this because I don't like Remy too much. It's cool, but I prefer another repository, which is iOS. So I will show you. It's going to be install iOS repo in CentOS 7. So the repository is called iOS, and you actually have a lot of things in that repository. It's super complete. So if you just go to getting started, you see that the first thing that you need to do is, of course, to install that repository. And they are providing you the URL that you need to install this. So if you click this, then you see that it actually downloads a file, which is RPM. So we're just going to install this. And we're going to copy the link address of this. And we're going to do it in our Docker file. So we're going to say jump install nginx. That's great. And then we say end. Because remember that we need to use as few layers as possible. So we're going to do this in the same run instruction. So we say end. And then we say jump install dash y this link. and you know, you can provide this link as an environment variable, as an external argument, as a build argument, as you want. I'm just going to hard code this for now. Now, if you want this to look a little bit more organized, then you can just do like this. Then you can type jump install, and yes, that looks nice. So now that we install the repository like this, then we need to retrieve the files from this repository. So if we go back, we're just going to type PHP 7 in EOS CentOS 7. And then you have here this link that says packages. And in this link, you can look for your distribution. So we click on this. And then here you have all of the available packages for PHP 7. So we're going to type and now that we install that repository, we want to install, so we want to say jump-y install, and we want to install a couple of packages. So we can just keep doing like this, jump install php71u fpm, because if you see, we have here php71u-fpm, which is what we have here. Then we also want to install, I don't know, php71 u-common, which is in here. And we're just going to install the common and the CLI. I think that's all we need. So we're just going to install this CLI, this common, and this FPM. So FPM, common, and php71 u-CLI. And then that's great. I think this is all we need. If you want or if your application needs more libraries like MyCrib or PDO or PGSQL, which is for Postgres, or for Cache or for MySQL, you can just go ahead and increment this list and put all of the libraries that you want. But for now, we only want these three libraries, right? So here we install Nginx from this repository. Then we just install the use repository. And from this repository, we're actually installing these packages. And in Linux, we have a line which is enable repo, which allows you to enable that repository. And you can just pass the name of the repo, which is iOS in this case. And if you want to clean some temporary files, then you can say and jump clean all. And jump will clean all of the cache and you know temporary files that are created in the download. Because the idea in Docker is that the final image should always be as small as small as possible and should always have as few layers as possible. So that's why we're doing it in this way. So great. Now we have the Nginx 
package and we have the PHP packages. So now how do we know if this works? Well, let's just go ahead and try to build this image and see if that works. So let's just build a version one anyways, because this is going to be the version one. Let's hit enter and let's see if we have any errors. If we have any errors, then this is the moment to fix those errors. Now, as you see, everything is going good. Our packages are being installed. Everything is OK. We have no words in the screen, so everything goes good. So I'm just going to stop this video here and we will be creating the second part for the image in the next video. So remember that in this video you learned how to install Nginx in CentOS and how to install an external repository and how to install packages from that repository using Docker. This is it for this video. I'll see you in the next lesson.